Have the Chicago Bears found their Eddie Jackson replacement? That's what we're going to discuss here on Chicago Bears Now. My name is Harrison Graham. Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope everybody is having a fantastic start to their weekend. Uh, if you're excited for free agency like I am, hit that like button. Monday, we're going to be live here on the channel. Can we get a 1,000 likes if you're fired up for the start of free agency, the legal tampering period? Uh, if you are as excited as I am, hit that like button. Let's get those like numbers up. Okay. Kevin Byard visited with the Bears yesterday, according to Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network. Um, Pierce, he took a visit at Hallis Hall. And remember, Kevin Byard is a veteran who was a cap casualty by the Eagles last month, very similar to Eddie Jackson. So he's eligible to sign with the team at any time. He can sign today. He can sign before the start of free agency, after the start, he doesn't. But he doesn't have to wait uh, for Wednesday for the start of the new league year to officially sign with a team. He could sign right now. So I think the Bears are at least exploring that avenue to say, "Hey, we could get our Eddie Jackson replacement in here before free agency even starts. Don't have to compete with other teams with on other players. Free safety can focus on other positions." Now, as of now. No deal has taken place, so this could just be preliminary stages uh, at this point in time. But I do wonder if this kind of signals a direction that they're going to go in at the free safety position. And I think it does, and what that direction is, is they're going to get a solid vet in here, but they're not going to overpay. Like, I, you know, I, I keep getting asked about Xavier McKinney. 24 years old, ascending young player with the Giants who's hit free agency. I love Xavier McKinney. I think he'd be a better player here than Kevin Byard. He's also going to cost a lot more, and you can't have young, ascending players at every position. But Harrison, the Bears have a ton of cap space. Yeah, they have a lot. They have like $62 million bucks after the Jalen Johnson deal. Um, but about 15 of that's going to go to the draft class. you got to keep 5-7 to seven for the season. So let's just say that's $20 million gone. You're already down to $43 million bucks. You're going to give Xavier McKinney $12, $15 million bucks per year, a third of that? Sure, you can structure it where year one cap it isn't huge, but I just don't see them going big money at free safety. I think they'll go mid tier money. Like, I think Kevin Byard on a one, two year deal, you know, probably five, six, seven million bucks. It's not like it's the vet minimum or something like that. But when they cut Eddie Jackson, it's not like they did it because they thought the player sucked. They did it because he was aging, he had some injury concerns. But most importantly, his cap hit was over $18 million, and they saved 12 and a half. So you think they're going to go and use all 12 and a half of that, if not more, to replace him? I, I don't see it. I think they'd like, out of that 12 and a half million bucks, to spend maybe half of it to replace him. And then, hey, you replace Eddie Jackson with a similar caliber player, if not a slightly better one, and you still came out with six million bucks to use elsewhere. That's how I, I view this going because the Bears secondary is arguably the strongest position group on this defense. You just need to replace Eddie Jackson. And by the way, that was true last year with Eddie Jackson playing 12 games, leaving multiple games, battling that foot issue, and with him taking a step back. You don't need a superstar at free safety. Sure, it's fun to think about, but you need bigger upgrades at different positions. Like, if you're going to swing big on a defensive player, do it on your defensive line. Do it with Christian Wilkins. Do it with Bryce Huff, Jonathan Grenard, maybe Daniil Hunter. You don't need to do it at free safety. There are so many safety options. And by the way, this isn't like some Kevin Byard or Buff situation. We'll talk about him and the type of player he is at this point in his career in a second. But, like... Julian Blackman, you've got guys like Geno Stone. Like, you don't have to go get Justin Simmons. You don't have to get Xavier McKinney. Like, you can just bring in a solid player. As long as he's as good as Eddie was last year when healthy, if not 10% better, 20% better for a reasonable price tag, that's a win because you have an all-pro corner, you have an ascending strong safety in Jaquan Brisker, Tyreek Stevenson in the second half of last year I thought was the best rookie corner in the NFL, and Kyler Gordon's very good in the nickel. You just need a starting caliber free safety. Elijah Hicks is not that. You need to find somebody who is. So who do you want 
as Eddie Jackson's replacement? Who do you want as the Bears' free safety next year? Go ahead and let us know in the comment section down below. Now let's talk about Kevin Byard a little bit. He did have a bit of a down year last year, just like Eddie Jackson did, but he still put up 122 tackles, played in 16 games, 6 with Tennessee, 10 with Philadelphia. Remember, he got traded before the trade deadline as Philly tried to make a move there. Had one interception, three breakups, all that was with Philly. Um, you know, his coverage uh, numbers weren't as good as they've been in prior years. But you got to remember, too, that Philly defense kind of just collapsed. Remember, they inadvertently demoted Sean Desai and made Matt Patricia the defensive play caller. Uh, and despite that, Byard's PFF grade, still 74 overall, 70.3 in coverage. Good in run support, 82.1. So, like, he was still an above-average player last year. He was still better than Eddie Jackson overall. And I don't think you're going to have to break the bank. The question is, is can he get closer to what he was even just in 2022? I'm not going to say, like, all-pro level. He was an all-pro in 2017 and in 2021. Uh, 2021, not that long ago, had five interceptions. But even in 2022, he had four interceptions. He had six pass breakups, over 100 tackles. And that's a couple of things that Byard's going to give you better than Eddie Jackson. One, he's a much more willing tackler. And two, durability. Since he's entered the league in 2016, rookie year, played in all 16 games. All 16 games year two. All 16 games year three. All 16 games year four. All 16 games year five. All 17 games, year six and seven. Last year missed one game, but I think that was because of the trade. Uh, he played in 16 to 17 games last year, but even if he missed one game to injury, we're talking about one missed game in a eight-year career up to this point. So he's going to be 31, but unlike Eddie Jackson, he does not have durability concerns at this point. So even if he's the exact same caliber player, average to above average starting safety, you're getting a guy who you can trust to play all 17 games more likely than not. That is what his career has dictated. So um, solid vet. He's been a leader, two-time All-Pro, two-time Pro Bowler, um, 28 career interceptions. Like I said, he's good in run support, much better tackler than Eddie Jackson. Um, maybe not quite as rangy as Bojack, but close. He had eight picks one year, so he's certainly capable uh, of doing that. And 28 career interceptions is no small number. Three year, or, uh, Five years of four interceptions or more. So he's a very capable player and can still get it done. And again, I would just caution against like this Xavier McKinney idea. I'm not saying there's no chance it happens, but like I actually would not go in that direction unless his price tag got to 10 million or less because again I just I want to spend those dollars elsewhere. I want to add uh you know uh, another pass rusher. I'd like to invest more on offense. I'm not going to be just tragically upset if they get Xavier McKinney to grow with this defense, but like you already have a really good secondary. You don't have to go premium at free safety. You can get just a solid vet on a one or two year deal at 5 to 7 million bucks. And go about your merry way. That That is perfectly exciting. And that's not being cheap. That's allocating resources because you're going to have to spend some money elsewhere. So, I, you know, that that is what I would do. Let us know, should the bear sign Kevin Byer type S for sign or P for pass? I'd be perfectly cool with that. I'm not saying he's my top choice, but that tier of player is kind of what I'm looking at, kind of that tier two market uh, on the safeties right now. S for sign, P for pass, go ahead and let us know. Okay, so a lot of news starting to drop. You can feel the start of free agency, the start of the league year on Wednesday, uh, legal tampering period of free agency on Monday. Like it, it, it's coming. You know, Diana Rossini is saying that Deontay Johnson uh, trade calls have been made. The Steelers are, are taking those calls. Josh Sweat, Eagles pass rusher, uh, is being made available via trade. They're already taking calls on Hassan Reddick. Sounds like the Eagles are going to make a push for Bryce Huff. Be kind of fun to get Josh Sweat. You got the Sweat brothers rushing the passer, Josh and Montez, uh, just the Sweat name. Maybe you draft Tavondre Sweat out of Texas too. Just go with the Sweat defensive line, but uh, uh, no, that'd be fun. I, I don't think they'll trade for Josh Sweat just because uh, Bears are running out of draft picks, obviously. But good, good young player. Um, Thirty-five sacks uh, in his career, so that would be interesting. But the point is, is the wheels are turning. The news cycle is starting to develop as. Uh, teams are positioning themselves for NFL free agency. And then after that, the NFL draft as 
Ryan Poles, Matt Eberflus, Ian Cunningham, and this staff start to put shape on this roster uh, as this offseason projects. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Don't miss out on any of it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications. We're going to have you covered every step of the way. We'll have another video later today, some blockbuster free agent targets that the Bears could consider. We'll have more coverage tomorrow. And, of course, if breaking news drops, we'll hit you with a video as well. My name is Harrison Graham. Bear down. Follow me on social media. Also, at HRAMNFL. We'll see you soon.